today we are going to talk about a couple of apps that I use on Mac and uh, feel that you should also use in case you have an older Mac these uh, apps will be very useful one of the applications that I use is a Mac fan control if your computer or Mac is old it will eventually heat up because of the old hardware Mac fan control is something that you can use to control the speed of your fans in case you feel that your Mac heats up too much you can install this app search in Google for this particular app Mac fan control and this is from crystalidea.com this is a free application download it and you have an option for Windows as well and for Mac as well so since we are talking about Mac we'll go ahead and download for Mac so once it's downloaded it's a zip file extract it and move it to applications so let's see click on it and it should extract itself so it will automatically open up the downloads folder drag it to applications and you can replace we'll go ahead and replace it so this is this is already in use we'll exit it click on ok and then move it back to applications replace so it will ask for your password to make sure that you want to have that application in application folder on your Mac so let's go ahead all right so go to applications search for Mac fan control rather right here it is double click it click on open type in your password and there it is so I have a widget that actually tells me how much temperature my CPU has if you'll check here 76 76 76 so these are the four cores this is 2014 Mac so we'll check what exactly is running quick player is utilizing CPU a bit so we'll close it all right so if I go here the CPU temperature right now is 66.5 degrees centigrade and if you check the fan speed is increasing bit by bit you might be able to hear the sound of fans running in this video so you can click on customize and drag it or you can just type in the numbers that you want 4000 let's, let's see click on customize 4000 this is one way of changing the value the rpm rounds per minute for your uh, max fans this is a 15 inch macbook pro it has two fans a 13 inch will have only one so you will be only seeing one option available so there is another option that you can set in the custom value it's called sensor based value so you can select the cpu core 2 it will tell you the temperature of the core and you can change whichever core you want to set this application will automatically determine how much the fan speed needs to increase so click on ok and you should see either it will lower it or it will bump it up so let's check here so see it has decreased the fan speed so if we go here sensor based value you can choose anything from here GPU so okay maximum temperature it will it is telling you this is the maximum temperature of that particular sensor click on okay and it should start decreasing or increasing it okay this is one of the better apps out there that can actually go ahead and increase or decrease or you can customize the fan speed you feel that your Mac heats up a lot you can do a constant RPM to 5000 or whatever will be the max value of your fan it will automatically determine so it won't go higher than this 
so that's the maximum uh, rpm value of the fan so click on cancel so if you go to preferences on this particular application you can check auto start minimized with system and if you want to use Fahrenheit temperature scale so you can check this so I use centigrade so I don't check this so there's a menu bar display so if you see here it's displayed in blue I can choose it as black and white in case you want to have it black and white or in in case you want to have it colored there is a blue color available in case you want to see in your status bar speed of the fan you can choose the left fan or the right fan so let's see left fan and you can choose a sensor so click on a sensor and this is how it looks like you can click on this option display fan sensor reading in two lines to save some space click on close so this is this is one of the apps that I use on daily basis so there is a diagnostic tab as well so you can enable this in case there are some issues with fans you should be able to get those logs these are the logs that are there in case there are any errors the application points it will write those logs in here so click on ok alright guys so this is it for today if you like the video share and subscribe thank you